Hi, and welcome to 40 Preparation Tips for SEA Mathematics. Here is tip number 10. In today's tip, we'll be using bar modeling to solve a problem involving unequal sharing. To do this, we'll be using an example from a problem submitted to me by an unknown author. Here's the problem. Larry and Lester went shopping. They both went with an equal amount of money. Larry spent $120 and Lester spent $150. At the end of the shopping, Lester had two-thirds of what Larry had left. How much money did Larry have after shopping? As with every worded problem, a good practice is to underline or highlight the most important points that emerge from the question. These are the most important points. Having done that, we can see that at the beginning, both Larry and Lester had an equal amount of money. This can be represented by bars of equal length and width, like this. Remember, in bar modeling, spatial equivalence is important. They went on to say that Larry spent $120 and Lester spent $150. This means that the area occupied by the amount of money spent by Larry should be smaller than the area occupied by the amount of money represented by Lester's spending, like this. They went on to say that the remaining amount of money Lester has is two-thirds of what Larry had left. This means that we can divide the remaining amount of money Larry has into three equal groups, like this. So that this is the two-thirds that is referred to. And this represents the excess money Lester spent over Larry's spending. This can be obtained by subtracting $120 from $150, and we would have $30. So this section represents $30. If you look carefully, this section is actually one third of what Larry had remaining, so that one third would be equal to $30. To obtain the amount of money Larry had remaining, we will have to get three-thirds of this amount. That is to say, three-thirds would be equal to three times 30, which is 90. This concludes our problem. Larry has $90 remaining. Thanks for watching. In tips 11 to 15, look out for me solving more problems using bar modeling. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe.